From the Blueberry Muffin battle of the 1980s between the famous Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Boston and the long-since-closed Jordan Marsh department store chain to Betty Crocker, Bon Appetit and the Culinary Institute of America, I bake 12 different blueberry muffin recipes so you don't have to. First up, McCormick's Lemon Blueberry Muffins. For the dry ingredients, 2 cups of flour, 2 thirds of a cup of sugar, 1 and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Mix until combined. For the wet ingredients, one cup of sour cream, one large egg, a quarter cup of whole milk, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, and two teaspoons of lemon extract. Whisk until combined. Pour the wet ingredients into the dry. Then add one cup of blueberries. Stir until just combined. Line a 12 cup muffin pan with cupcake liners. Grease with Pam or vegetable oil. Fill each muffin cup three quarters of the way full. Bake at 400 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. Transfer onto a wire rack to finish cooling. And there we have it, McCormick's Lemon Blueberry Muffins. For the second recipe, all recipes to die for blueberry muffins. For the crumb topping, a third of a cup of flour, a half cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and a quarter cup or half stick of cold cubed unsalted butter. Using your hands, break up the butter into small pieces, or until about pea size. Mix until well incorporated. If you use room temperature butter, the mixture's texture will be too wet. As a result, you will not get a crumble. Cover and place into the refrigerator until ready to use. For the batter's dry ingredients, one and a half cups of flour, three quarters of a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. Mix until combined. For the wet ingredients, one large egg, three quarters of a cup of whole milk, and a third of a cup of vegetable oil. Whisk until combined. Pour the wet into the dry. Then add one cup of blueberries. Stir until just combined. Spoon the batter into the muffin cups greased with Pam or vegetable oil, filling each muffin cup three quarters of the way full. On goes the crumb topping. Bake at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Transfer onto a wire rack to finish cooling. And there we have it, all recipes to die for blueberry muffins. For the third recipe, the Ritz-Carlton's blueberry muffins. For the dry ingredients, three and a half cups of flour, three quarters of a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Mix until combined. Then add three beaten eggs, a half cup of whole milk, and two thirds of a cup of melted unsalted butter. In goes four to five cups of blueberries. Stir until just combined. Spoon the batter into the muffin cups, filling each one three quarters of the way full. Sprinkle sugar right over the top. Bake at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. Transfer onto a wire rack to finish cooling. And there we have it, the Ritz-Carlton's Blueberry Muffins. For the fourth recipe, Jordan Marsh's Blueberry Muffins. For the dry ingredients, two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. Mix until combined. Into the bowl of a stand mixer, one and a quarter cups of sugar, and a half cup or one stick of unsalted butter. Cream together on medium-high speed for three to five minutes, or until pale yellow in color and fluffy. Reduce the speed to low. Add in two eggs, one at a time. In goes half of the flour mixture. Then pour in a half cup of whole milk. Finish with the remaining flour mixture. Mix until well incorporated. Into a small bowl, a half cup of blueberries. Mash with a spoon or fork. Add to the batter. In goes another half cup of whole blueberries. Mix until just combined. Spoon the batter into the muffin cups greased with Pam or vegetable oil, filling each muffin cup three quarters of the way full. Top them off with three teaspoons of sugar. Bake at 375 degrees for 28 to 30 minutes. Transfer onto a wire rack to finish cooling. And there we have it, Jordan Marsh's Blueberry Muffins. For the fifth recipe, Betty Crocker's Blueberry Muffins. For the dry ingredients, two cups of flour, a half cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. Mix until combined. For the wet, three quarter cup of whole milk, a quarter cup of vegetable oil and one large egg. Whisk until combined. Add the dry ingredients to the wet. Mix until just combined. Pour one can of blueberries through a strainer. These are just whole blueberries in a light syrup. 
Then fold the blueberries into the batter, scoop out a portion of the mixture, and fill each muffin cup three quarters of the way full. Sprinkle with three teaspoons of decorative sugar. Bake at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Transfer onto a wire rack to finish cooling. And there we have it, Betty Crocker's Blueberry Muffins. For the sixth recipe, Bon Appetit's Best Blueberry Muffins. For the dry ingredients, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of whole wheat flour, one cup of sugar, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, and two teaspoons of salt. Mix until combined. Then add one and a half cups of blueberries. For the wet, one and a half cups of plain yogurt, two large eggs, two egg yolks, a half cup or one stick of melted unsalted butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, two teaspoons of lemon juice, and one teaspoon of lemon zest. Whisk until combined. Pour the wet into the dry. Mix until just combined. Spoon the batter into the muffin cups greased with Pam or vegetable oil, filling each muffin cup three quarters of the way full. Top each muffin with four to five blueberries, pressing to adhere, or about a half cup in total. Sprinkle two tablespoons of raw sugar, also known as turbinado sugar, right over the top. Bake at 425 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. Transfer onto a wire rack to finish cooling. And there we have it, Bon Appetit's Best Blueberry Muffins. For the seventh recipe, Delicious Air Fryer Banana Blueberry Muffins. Before we get started, we have to talk about the cupcake liners. Right here, I have some silicone baking cups. These are required because they are freestanding. Nothing too crazy. For the dry ingredients, three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup of whole wheat flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix until combined. For the wet ingredients, three mashed bananas, three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar, a third of a cup of vegetable oil, a quarter cup of sour cream, one large egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Whisk until combined. Add the dry ingredients to the wet. Then fold in one cup of blueberries. Stir until combined. Fill each baking cup three quarters of the way full. Top off each muffin with one banana chip, pressing to adhere. Working in small batches, bake first at 350 degrees for seven minutes. Cover loosely with tin foil to prevent overbrowning and continue baking for another five to seven minutes. Transfer onto a wire rack to finish cooling. And there we have it, delicious air fryer banana blueberry muffins. For the eighth recipe, Bon Appetit's blueberry spelt muffins. For the streusel, three tablespoons of spelt flour, two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of dark brown sugar, a pinch of cinnamon, and two tablespoons of cold cubed unsalted butter. Just like before, using your hands, Break up the butter into small pieces, or until pea size. Cover and place into the refrigerator until ready to use. For the dry ingredients, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix until combined. For the wet, two-thirds of a cup of dark brown sugar, one large egg, a third of a cup of vegetable oil, a third of a cup of buttermilk, and the zest from one lemon. Whisk until combined. Pour the wet into the dry. Then fold in a half cup of blueberries. Stir until just combined. Spoon the batter into only eight of the muffin cups. On goes the streusel topping. Remove four of the liners and pour two to three tablespoons of water into each one. This will help prevent the pan from warping during baking. Bake at 350 degrees for 24 to 27 minutes. Transfer onto a wire rack to finish cooling. And there we have it, Bon Appetit's Blueberry Spelt Muffins. For the ninth recipe, King Arthur Baking Company's Blueberry Muffins. For the dry ingredients, two and a quarter cups of King Arthur unbleached all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. Mix until combined. Into the bowl of a stand mixer, three quarters of a cup of sugar and a quarter of a cup of unsalted butter. Beat on medium-high speed for three to five minutes, or until pale yellow in color and fluffy. Reduce the speed to low. Then add two large eggs, one at a time, a half cup of sour cream 
and two teaspoons of King Arthur pure vanilla extract. In goes the flour mixture. Mix until thoroughly combined. Fold in one and a half cups of blueberries. Spoon the batter into the muffin cups greased with Pam or vegetable oil, filling each muffin cup three quarters of the way full. Sprinkle sugar right over the top. Bake at 375 degrees for 23 to 25 minutes. Transfer onto a wire rack to finish cooling. And there we have it, King Arthur Baking Company's Blueberry Muffins. For the 10th recipe, Bon Appetit's Gluten-Free Blueberry Muffins with an Oat Crumble. For the Oat Crumble, a half cup of gluten-free old-fashioned oats, a quarter cup of light brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of cold, cubed, unsalted butter. Using your hands, break up the butter into small pieces, or until about pea size. Place into the refrigerator until ready to use. For the dry ingredients, one and a half cups of King Arthur gluten-free all-purpose flour, a half cup of almond flour, three quarters of a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a half teaspoon of salt. Mix until combined. For the wet, six tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, a half cup of whole milk, and one large egg. Whisk until thoroughly combined. Add the dry ingredients to the wet, then add one cup of blueberries. Stir until just combined. Scoop out a portion of the mixture and fill each muffin cup three quarters of the way full. On goes the oat crumble topping. Bake at 375 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. Transfer onto a wire rack to finish cooling. And there we have it. Bon Appetit's gluten-free blueberry muffins with an oat crumble. For the 11th recipe, blueberry muffins from the Culinary Institute of America's cookbook, The Professional Chef. For the dry ingredients, two and three quarter cups of flour and one tablespoon of baking powder. Mix until combined. For the wet ingredients, four large eggs, a half cup plus one tablespoon of buttermilk, a third of a cup of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of vanilla. Whisk until combined. Into the bowl of a stand mixer, one and a third cups plus one tablespoon of sugar, a half stick plus two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and a half teaspoon of salt. Cream together on medium-high speed for three to five minutes, or until pale yellow in color and fluffy. Reduce the speed to low. Then add the wet ingredients in two or three additions, followed by the dry ingredients all at once. In goes two and a half cups of blueberries. Mix until just combined. Spoon the batter into the muffin cups greased with Pam or vegetable oil, filling each muffin cup three quarters of the way full. Sprinkle with a quarter cup of decorative sugar, also known as sugar on top. Bake at 375 degrees for 28 to 30 minutes. Transfer onto a wire rack to finish cooling. And there we have it. Blueberry muffins from the Culinary Institute of America's cookbook the Professional Chef. For the final recipe, Blueberry Muffins from the Culinary Institute of America's cookbook, Baking and Pastry, Mastering the Art and Craft. For the streusel topping, into the bowl of a stand mixer, a half cup of sugar and a half cup or one stick of cold unsalted butter. Cream together on medium-high speed for two to three minutes or until pale yellow in color and fluffy. Then add one and a half cups of bread flour and three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix on low speed for another 30 to 60 seconds or until a rough crumb forms. Cover and place into the refrigerator until ready to use. And very similar to the 11th recipe, for the batter's dry ingredients, two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour and three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. Mix until combined. For the wet ingredients, four large eggs, a half cup plus one tablespoon of buttermilk, a third of a cup of vegetable oil, and one tablespoon of vanilla. Whisk until combined. Into a clean bowl of a stand mixer, one and a third cups plus one tablespoon of sugar, a half stick plus two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and a half teaspoon of salt. Beat on medium-high speed for three to five minutes, or until pale yellow in color and fluffy. Reduce the speed to low, then add the wet ingredients in two or three additions, followed by the dry ingredients all at once. In goes two and a half cups of blueberries. 
Mix until just combined. Scoop out a portion of the mixture and fill each muffin cup three quarters of the way full. On goes the streusel topping. Bake at 375 degrees for 28 to 30 minutes. Transfer onto a wire rack to finish cooling. And there we have it. Blueberry muffins from the Culinary Institute of America's cookbook, Baking and Pastry, Mastering the Art and Craft. That's it for today, guys. Drop a like and a comment below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time.